Okay, so we're kind of making a little update video. The uh, This week did not go as I had planned at all. So we got the GTR sitting here <clears throat> in the parking spot. And we did make it to New Jersey Motorsports Park. But there were a couple things that happened leading up to that event that uh, I guess I'll talk to you about. And I'll try to keep it rather short. So first thing first is something with the wheels. You'll notice that these are now rocking the Hankook Ventus RS4. Um, pretty good tires from what I have experienced so far. Uh, you'll notice that there are no center caps. There used to be center caps. This is the one. Okay, let's see if you guys notice anything. You guys notice anything about that center cap yet? Here, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, now do you see the center? See how, uh, where the center cap would attach? It's all like, looks like it's broken. It's not smooth. It's a rather big hole. Let me compare it to the back side here. There, see the difference now? So when uh, the shop was mounting the tires, actually dismounting the old uh, tires off of this wheel, we quickly discovered that the cast faces of the BBS LM was rather kind of brittle there in the middle. And um, I don't know if it's, I'm not, I'm not blaming the shop at all, but these wheels could be kind of old. I'm not really sure how old they are or how many times they've had wheels taken on and off. But uh, these, while the barrels might be forged, the faces are definitely not and that cracks so anyway i have no center caps um you know because race car right and so we get we're driving up to new jersey and i noticed that the uh car wasn't building boost like it normally would it's it's tuned for a 1.3 bar and the uh let me show you guys here this this unit here was beeping at me beep 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 and uh, I noticed that the boost would only go to about you know 0.7 or so which is was that 10 psi something like that maybe I should know um, so there was that and I really wasn't too concerned with it because I figured you know uh, I should probably learn how to use this um, boost controller anyway so there's those two things right off the bat before even getting to the track <laughs> the wheels which were not really a big deal because I did get the tires installed just like I wanted the boost running lower power uh, that was also fine and the last thing and this isn't a bad thing here hold on let me the, pop the hood <clears throat> okay back um, I don't know if you guys remember the old the old couplers I'll show you guys what they look like the old couplers were not t-band t-bolt and they looked like they had seen better days so there was that one there there was this guy down here there was this one here on the intake side. And then there was this guy here that um, I all had replaced. So as luck would have it, I decided to contact AAM Competition on the way up 95. And they were really just off of 95 in Maryland, off in uh, Annapolis Junction. And this guy, um, God, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I get the name wrong. Oh gosh, Patrick. So Patrick at AAM said, yeah, man, come on in. A really big facility, pretty crazy here. They do a lot of stuff, their own fabrication, turbo kits, lots of stuff on Zs. Anyway, they got my, uh, my GTR in the back here and we are going to, well, they're going to be hooking up, um, replacing these intake couplers. So we're gonna replace those with nice T-bolts like this. Hopefully, and that one down there, at least that's the idea. 
Um, one of the other things I'm going to be doing soon is replacing the filters you can, in the baskets here. You can see that, you know, they're not, that's definitely not HKS stuff. Okay, so what happened at the track, you might wonder. We're going down the front straight, hard on the brakes, pedal feels solid, and then to the floor. Right at the end. Not a good feeling to have when you're slowing down from like a buck 30 or whatever. Um, and so the next lap, I just crossed the start finish line, it was too late to pit in. I went back around the track again, and when I pitted in, I was definitely smelling some brake fluid. Obviously it was going somewhere. First thing I did was check the uh, fluid level and it was just at the minimum, uh, a little bit below. So luckily I had brought a little leftover type 200 and topped it off. And I noticed two things over on this side. One is that there was fluid all down here from this here, which I believe is the power steering, um, power steering fluid. But back here, this is the ABS pump. I noticed fluid was dripping from the bottom here and around here. And I really actually, when I take that off, I really got to clean up underneath of it because brake fluid can do some nasty things to paint. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure my ABS unit just took a poo poo. Uh, it's also possible that when we bled the brake fluid, we did not touch the ABS unit at all. I, I haven't done that with other cars before, so maybe that was my goof up, and maybe it was just nasty fluid in there that just sent this unit over the edge at the track day. Whatever the case is, it's too late now, and, and this is what I gotta deal with. But, so that's my update on this. Um, gotta have another ABS unit. That one's coming in. I'll be shipping this one off, and hopefully we'll get all fixed up and on the road again. And if you guys haven't checked out the Right Foot Down channel, that's rightfootdown.com's uh, YouTube channel, this car was on the dyno. So check out that dyno video over there. You can see it getting strapped up, a couple pulls made, the whole dyno graph, all that stuff. So you guys should definitely check it out. I know I'm, I'm going to be kind of sparingly adding uh, GTR content on this channel, just so you guys know. So please, uh, if you like my stuff and GTRs, then check out and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash right foot down. All right, guys, so that's my update. 13 minutes in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.